Hey guys, with Skype guest of any Troy. I'm actually gonna be doing number nine of um number nine of me showing random tape. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Haven't done this in a while, so I'm gonna go and do it again. Let's start with the tape that I believe or, believe it or not, I have not even shown on YouTube yet. I decide now it's the time to go and show it to you guys. I've not shown you guys this tape yet. Um, but I got it a couple months ago. Um, for my cousin, and it is the 2002 limited edition um, shiny cover versions of E.T., the extraterrestrial. Yeah, I'm still going to keep all three of my copies, my, other co my uh, 2002 copies. Show the other two a little bit later. Blue casing. Wiki Year Code's the 39th of 2002. Yeah, my other copy is the 38th of 2002, so we'll get to a little bit later. Got the lamp for time three time of the great giving. However, this has something underneath the sticker label. Yep, mine is Watch Gate F and Moy Sound, 43rd week of 1995. Next, I got D2 to Mighty Ducks. Per date, July 18th, 1994. Yep. El Enchanted. Do not care for this movie, but I will keep up the collection. You guys are going to like what this tape has. It has the blue tape in it. July 28th, 2004. How rare is that? Yep. Matilda. Printed in the 42nd week of 1996. Yeah. Got Muppets from Space. Printed in the 40th week of 1999. Yeah. Alright, next I got uh, Airbud from 1997. It says PG-13 on the label. November 21st, 1997. Yeah, I also have a reprint of this as well. So, I'll show in another video. Next, I got the 1996, which is a Toy Story. Yeah, it's my second copy. You guys are going to like this. Per date, December 6, 1996. It's a reprint. So this was printed only 19 days before Christmas of that year. Yes, it is. About to be three. Um, in around three hours. Around two and a half hours. So anyways, here we go. Let's continue. Yes, two hours, 39 minutes. Um, next tape I got is 2001 Space Odyssey MGM CBS tape. Spine, spine. Top. Just back. It's inside. Okay. And I don't see a print date whatsoever. Or a weekend year cut or anything. Yeah, this tape does not. Well, except for except for a couple previews, yeah. These next two are also MGM cut boxes. I mean, no, big boxes, excuse me. Kanadi Kid. It's a little bit of a reprint, too, as you can see. Tape. No print day has those older 90 printings, and has that. GM on video. So this is an early MGM UA tape. One of the earliest ones. Dream Lover. Same with this one. Case pretty beat up, but I mainly got it because it's another one of these MGM big boxes. Print date is December 9th, 1986. Mm -hmm. 
and GMO video again there. I've, I've, I have a few others, I think. Next, I got 26 box video via just a Star Wars video rental library. This tape is extremely rare. It's from 1982. First release of Star Wars ever made onto home video. And again, there's no pro date. Got this tape on my birthday, actually. Yes, it is. Got for only 50 cents in my Arco store because it was on sale. Next, I got the Music Man, Warbur Special Edition. This is by the Boring Shield. As Davini likes to say. October 1st, 1998, and it does come with pro material, which I'm not going to show it now. Yeah, mine does. And here's the Mexican Spanish feature of ETX Terrestrial, extremely rare. Not sure if I showed this yet or not, but I'm just going to go and show it again. Just in case I haven't, or have. This tape does use the white screen of death at the end, for 20 seconds. September 29th, 2002. Next, I got the limited edition of E.T. As well, 2002. It's a case. Printed in the 38th of 2002. Slaughterhouse 5, MC, MCA Video Cassette Inc. Logic Day, August 26, 2000. Per date, May 20th, 1987, and it says, um, 167 on the list. That's pretty weird. Don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah, I know, it probably does. Next, I got King and I. Yep. Part date is, um, January 24th, 1992, put in the fifth week of 1992. This tape does use the watch going to death. I used uh, the remake, but I got rid of it, and I'll never get it back in my collection. Yeah, I'm not planning to get the remake from 1999. That looks like garbage. China Syndrome. Put it in the ninth week of 1996, good barcode, but nothing. Mm -hmm. I'll have to get the good times part of it as well sometime. Next, got Johnny McNor Mac. TriStar Film. However, you guys are going to like what this has. It has an orange tape. It does have a day in your code on it. Uh, the 300 and. No, no. The 293rd day of 1995. Imprinted a 44 freak of 1995. Pretty cool. It's an orange tape. Must be recycled from Nickelodeon tape or something. Oh, how come? Wait, maybe it was before that, was it? Oh, my bad. It might be recycled from... I don't know what's, what it will be recycled from, I guess. I don't really know. You don't think it's recycled? Hmm, that's weird. I guess maybe Rugrats... I mean, not Rugrats. Ew, that just sucked. <laughs> but, um... Maybe it was recycled from... Maybe uh, Nickelodeon tapes in general were recycled from this tape, maybe. Do you think so? Oh, no. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Playable. And it says no per date. Next guy in the fair to remember. Per date's August 10th, 1994. It's the per date copy. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This date does use the phone noise to begin. I mean, at the end, excuse me. Next guy, it's a very. Merry Muppet Christmas movie. Co produced by NBC and Home Entertainment as well, along with Jim Henson. September 3rd, 2003. Next, we got the Theater Record, yeah, theater record Bootleg of Hearts of Atlanta. Sorry about that mispronunciation. Sometimes I do that. Sorry about that. MCA error, and there's no per date. State does have blue screen enough to begin and at the end. Next, I got uh, Rain, of, uh, Rain of Fire. From Touchstone Entertainment. October 25th, 2002. So, this tape does use the older Touchstone logo. Next, I got The Electric Horseman. Whoops. Tops like that. Sorry about that. 
Um, 42nd week in 1996 and the 33rd week in 1994. Yes. Next, it got Overboard. MGM Movie Time Tape. Hurt's a good movie, actually. I've not watched it yet. January 8th, 1998. I got the day the earth stood still. However, this tape actually is recycled, which is cool. Printed in the 6th week of 1992 and the 18th week of 1995. This tape is not printing, so I might have to check for barcode. For the barcode underneath that. I thought there's a day in your code for a second. There isn't. Sorry. Next, I got a boot another bootleg. Uh, soldier. Back. This tape actually does not have blue screen up being or at the end. I checked. Does not have it. Uh, and guys, possibly I might ask for permission tomorrow to do maybe open a, a few openings and closings that aren't copyrighted. Guys, I might I might ask my mom if I can do that tomorrow, a little bit later. So I may or may not be able to, guys. So I'll I'll update you guys on that by tomorrow. But anyways, let's go and continue. Sorry about that. Next got Dreamcatcher. Co-produced by Castle Rock and Village Roadshow. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the internet cut you off when I was showing this tape. Remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad for you. Predates August 30th, 2003. You know that is a bit off topic. Sorry about that. Yes. Thank God that's not my brand. Not to get off topic. Next, we got Soccer Dog European Cup. Do you know what's interesting? Kind of like what happened on Stuart Little 3, even though that came out a couple of years after this tape. Do you know what's weird? This has, like, something very similar. Um, has Chloe Chester Entertainment at the beginning twice. Like, one of them for the movie. Isn't that weird? This tape does have that. Chloe Chester Entertainment twice. And during the... And when the movie starts, Clint Chester Entertainment, and then, um, I don't remember if there's any other uh, companies after that. I don't remember. 32nd week, 2004, and the 7th week of 1999. So it's recycled again. I got Little Black Book. Sony reprint. March 28, 2006. Not as rare as yours. I know, that is so rare. Next, I got the demo tape, I mean, the For Your Consideration tape of Pieces of April from United Artists. Pretty rare. Did the opening to this. Did not get copyright yet. Probably want to check it out, guys, just in case, um, just in case it ever gets copyrighted. Might want to check it out. <laughs> Part date is November 15th, 2003. It's an invisible ink. Next, oh, now here is the ultra rarest. The demo tape of Cinderella 3, A Twist in Time, from 2007. You know, this uh, 2006 print, because it's early. There it is. Print date, November, November 7, 2006. So yeah, this is an ultra, ultra rare tape. I tried doing the opening to it. I got copyright. It got blocked worldwide. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why, I don't know what the matter of YouTube now. Mm -hmm. And the last tape me showing for this part is a three tape set. The blue and the gray triple cassette. It's a huge set. Look at this. It's just huge. Part one, part two, and part three. All three parts are printed fifth, we could tell one. That's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in number 10, episode 10, which I'll also do a little bit later tonight.